All right. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to take a look at Angel Eyes, a great uh, classic standard. Um, and we're going to take a look at the first eight measures for uh, melodic material for playing in an octave style. Now, the, uh, the octave style is, uh, was, was popularized you know, way back in the late 50s and 60s uh, by Wes Montgomery. And he used to play this style with, with, with just his thumb, right? Because he had six kids and he didn't want to keep them awake at night. And I, I don't use that, that style. Uh, because I, I use a, a hybrid picking style. And uh, I just find it's quicker to get to my pick. Right? All right, so it doesn't matter how you how you play it. You can also you, you don't necessarily have to, to to separate the notes. You can you can also uh, just play with the pick and mute the the, the string in between. Uh, okay, simple, right? And it, it mutes very naturally. All right. So let's take a look at uh, at this uh, at this melody. Uh, the melody goes like this. Okay, and you can hear that it's in the blue scale. So uh, now let's drop that down an octave. All right. Now what I'm going to do is take that same thing and play it with only my index finger just because, you know, I just want to make it as challenging as possible. I've only got one finger right now. Okay. Now, let's talk about octaves. On the on the bottom four strings, an octave shape is like this, and on the top four strings, an octave shape is like this. Bottom four strings, always a fret apart and a string between, fret apart and a string between, and then. Top four strings, two frets apart, string between. All right. Now, now that we know that, um, probably a good thing for you to do would be to practice the blues scale. scale and eventually what you have to do is sort of get this locked in these, these shapes locked in underneath your fingers you know like you do you know you probably have chord chord shapes that you can just nail really quickly like that as well well this is exactly the same thing you got to do with the octave now we're getting back to that silly silly thing that I did with uh, with just one finger 
we're going to do it in octaves with those locked, but you're just looking at your bottom finger. top four strings now, so I have to change that shape. second section. All right, so that's really sort of all I wanted to say. Uh, octaves uh, really are, are a matter of, you know, of, of a, a lot of practice using them, but, but sometimes it gets confusing when you're looking at two fingers at the same time. So don't look at two fingers at the same time, just get used to, to playing a, a simple little melody just with finger one, only your finger one, and, and watch that finger one because, and then the uh, and then your finger three or else your finger four depending on if you're on the top four or bottom four set uh, they just get locked in and they're and they just become like a part of your first finger uh, and uh, you know this kind of practice you can you can take any scale <laughs> As far as your, it, it's a whole different trip. It's a whole different way of playing, and uh, it, it, it 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 wow! It, it it's good for you. It's good for you. Really good for you. It's good for your melodic thinking. Uh, as far as uh, as your you know your right hands, uh, which I mentioned, uh, you you don't you don't necessarily have to play in the muted thumb style. Uh, the, you can you can play with the just your pick. Um, I, 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 you know there there are different ways to approach it. Picking fingers, or or just a pick, right? With mute. Uh, yeah, uh, but when but I don't know when you attack. I don't I I attack I attack off the side of the pick to to warm it up. You know. You know, see here the difference in that tone just just with the with the way you hold your pick. Okay, so um, I I hope that was a help. Remember that angel eyes uh, is uh, in uh, in a blues a minor blues scale. The first eight of it is, and so get that get that uh, the blues scale is a great place to start. With that, uh, with that one finger technique, and then expand that to to actually being able to play uh, the first eight measures of angel eyes in an octave style, and then you can you can expand from there and take the the next section and play it in in a chord melody style. And you know it's 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 a it's a fun one to do. Uh, it, it, it's it's a really entertaining tune. For the listener, but also for uh, for learning it. All right, so octaves, angel eyes, octaves in your scales uh, uh, gives you. I hope that gives you a, a way to 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 learn your octaves and and uh, and work uh, work through them. Get get used to that one finger style. Anchor that one finger with the third finger on the bottom four strings and the uh, anchor that one finger with your baby finger on the top four strings. If that was a help for you, uh, click uh, like uh, or subscribe. We'd love to have you back. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, uh, any directions that you'd like to see us go, let, let us know. Uh, but for today, 
that was angel eyes in the first eight measures of, uh, of a blues scale type of melody using octaves. <laughs> 